So we're now here with the brains behind Sticky Wicket. It's been going for uh, five years now. This is its sixth year. Um, hello, Merv. Hello. Excited? Absolutely. Now the sun's out. Yes. And then this morning when you looked out the window at five o'clock, what were you thinking? Oh, dear. <laughs> but uh, I got through it and uh, the Met Office came through and uh, they did say it stopped raining at seven and it did. Now we've got all the great and the good from the exhibition industry here. It's great that this show's getting bigger and better every year. Yeah, we, we've managed to increase it to 16 teams this year and uh, we will be giving uh, £35,000 to Lord's Taverners today, uh, which is uh, an amazing amount of money and it's you know just thanks to the, to the industry for supporting us. So, uh, yeah. The Lord's Taverners, of course, uh, raising uh, fortunes for, for the young. Yeah, and uh, over, the, over the last uh, five years, we've raised over £120,000 for the, for the Taverners. And uh, today we were blessed to have uh, a bus that's been uh, given to the, to the Royal College of the Blind in, uh, in Hereford. And they actually brought the bus today and we've taken some photos. And we had Chris Cowdery, who's now the president of the Lord's Taverners, to, uh, to actually hand the official key over. And that was fantastic fantastic as well. And it says Sticky Wicket on the minibus? Absolutely, on the back it's got Sticky Wicket and it says uh, donated by the events industry on the back of the bus. Now how would you sum up the standard of cricket today? Um, pretty shocking really, um, um, interspersed by some uh, rather good chaps which um, who, who do tend to play cricket so you know that, that is always a problem where not a problem, it's great to see people hitting the ball over the place, but, but we had no professionals here today, so uh, that was all good. Are you jealous you can't get out there yourself and play? You're too busy organising. Oh, no, I love it. I just love, you know, I, I'm, I'm, now I've passed 50 and all that stuff. I've played enough cricket. I, I just love doing it because I know it's going to help the kids. Who was your cricketing hero growing up? Uh, well, it, I suppose being the age that I am, I had... Uh, the honour to meet uh, Ian Botham recently and, and of course I reflect back to the 80s particularly uh, you know obviously that fantastic Ashes series and you know how, how couldn't it be him. Fantastic well well done today Merv another great sticky wicket. Thank you very much. Yeah, really, really. Okay I'm, I'm with Jeremy now Jeremy this is the sixth sticky wicket. It is the sixth and um, and it's the best so far so we're chuffed to bits the sun's come out and we've made lots of money so everything's going well so far. How did you play today? Well, we played, we played very well. We played very well and we lost three games. We had uh, Close to Still and uh, another couple of teams that uh, beat us. We had great fun and uh, we did lose. How would you compare the stress levels to um, walking out to bat in front of your industry peers compared to um, putting on a show at XL? Uh, putting on a show at XL, as you would expect, is seamless and easy and not even, not even a stress. Walking out to bat is bloody hard work. <laughs> and growing up, who was your cricketing hero? There is only one, and that was Ian Botham. I love being an all-rounder, and he was the absolute genius of all time. Thank you, Jeremy. Pleasure. I've just found John Robson from Aztec. John, I have to say, you're looking very dapper, but you're not in white. What's going on? No, uh, well, uh, injuries, you know. My cricket career keeps keep getting these injuries, and I just can't do it the way I used to, knocking all the sixes every day. It just doesn't work for me anymore, and if I can't hit sixes, I'm not playing. A uh, big cricket fan, though? Oh, massive cricket fan, absolutely massive cricket fan. Who was your uh, cricketing hero as a boy? Oh, it's got to be Ian, Bo Ian Botham. Beefy, we've, we've had that every time. Very predictable, but okay. bo beefy both of them, yeah. Absolutely. Um, now it's the sixth year of Sticky Wicket. Uh, you've always been a great supporter. You're always here. Yeah, we've done it every year now. Um, last year we, we had our own team. This year we shared it with Marriage. Um, but we, we love it. We, it's a great networking day. It's a great day out. Um, even if the weather's a bit mixed like it has been this year, we still get loads out of it, invite loads of guests, and everyone has a great time. So it's just a perfect day, and actually it's all for charity. So it's a really good thing. OK, well, I think you need a bit of a deep rub. Get yourself ready for next year. Oh, not half. <laughs> Thanks, John. Cheers. Well, I've now managed to find Simon Kimball from Clarion. Hiya, Simon. How are you doing? I'm very good. I watched you playing earlier. This is the sixth year of Sticky Wicket. How's it been for you today? Well, I've got a sore knee, uh, a rather sore ass too, and uh, we lost. <laughs> OK. Um, uh, uh, broadly speaking, how's the day been, do you think? Actually, always fantastic, and we've had a great day. Partly for the fact we lost our first game, so we didn't take it too seriously thereafter. And uh, the beer tent, or the Pims tent, or something tent, seem to uh, be more of a challenge than anything else. Who's your cricketing hero? It was Geoffrey Boycott, I'm afraid. I'm that aged. What, slow, steady? Slow, steady, just like me. Grumpy? Grumpy. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Pleasure. 
Okay, looking around uh, Sticky Wicket today, there, there are the great and the good uh, from the industry, and I'm joined by um, two of those now. I've got Toby here and Adam. How are you doing, boys? Yeah, very good, thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Afternoon. Nice to see you both. Now, you're not looking very crickety. Uh, we've been playing, uh, but we just didn't quite make the final this year. I've been attempting to play, um, and now I'm uh, dressed as appropriate. Well, the sun's come out. Oh, it's, been, it's been sunny all day. What are you talking about, Roy? If you see Merv with all the steam coming out of Merv's ears earlier on this morning, it wasn't, was it? It, it was wet for quite a while. Outside at 7.30, we were that close to it not going ahead. So uh, it's, uh, it's broken now. It's great. So it says something about the, 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 uh, the, the power and desire of our industry, doesn't it? We, we still put these shows on. Uh, well, it does, to be honest, actually. Yeah, I think, you know, it actually looked as if we weren't going to be able to hold it. It's been a brilliant day. We've raised £35,000 for a brilliant charity. And, uh, yeah, it's about the resilience and the people here. Everyone wanted to network and see each other. And uh, we've had a great time. How's your cricket, Adam? Poor. Poor. Uh, and poor, pretty much, yeah. Um, we had what you would call a fruitful day of cricket. So uh, I ended up playing for Excel. I wasn't expected to play, so... Uh, I think I got away with it, just. Who are your cricketing heroes? Uh, Ian Botham for me. Um, uh, Tuffers, because he's just <laughs> oh, absolutely off his nut. <laughs> and on that, bombshell. Thank you, boys. Cheers. So now we've got Andrew Evans here. Andrew, um, I can see by your attire that you've not been playing today, but you've been watching. Um, all those people that know anything about sport know that I was probably better than I am now 20 years ago. The good Lord tells you when to stop and I've stopped, trust me. So we've got the industry here today. Um, this has got bigger and better year on year, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, it's a fantastic occasion. I was on the organising group that helped to launch this however many years ago, five years ago, something like that. And it has gone from strength to strength. And, uh, you know, it's a terrific thing that it does. It does uh, uh, many things. It sorts, it's, it sorts the exhibition industry out with a fantastic social forum. Uh, you know, we all enjoy coming here. It adds a little bit of sporting flair, um, a lot of sardonic pleasure for those of us standing on the touch lines. Yeah, it puts us all in our place, really. And do you think the, uh, the guys playing today are enjoying having their industry peers watching them go out and, and, and show what they can do? Well, there's a lot of companies that are organising their budgets for the forthcoming year, so this has to be light relief for anyone involved in that process, myself included. <laughs> yeah. Thanks very much, Andrew. No problem. Nice to be here. Now we have Simon Mills from UBM, but he's also a committee member at Sticky Wicket. He's been here since the very beginning. Simon, how's it going for you today? It's, uh, I mean, once again, been a fabulous day. It's uh, our sixth year, which we're very proud. Uh, 16 teams this year, which is a record. A uh, crowd of at least, Jeremy told me, 2,000 people, which is a, 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 a large increase on last year. But um, again, again, it's been a, a fabulous day. We're lucky with the weather, it's just about held out for us. Uh, but yeah, a fabulous day. And uh, how would you compare uh, running a show like this compared to running one of your other shows? Uh, this is, uh, when you've got Merv, it, 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 it's much smoother than any, any other operational uh, show I've ever ran. So it, Merv is the answer to everything, really. So, yeah. Um, I, I witnessed Merv earlier on um, uh, telling some people um, uh, what they should be doing. I mean, it was it was it was beauty to, to, to behold. Well, I mean, Merv has a, has a style which only only Merv could uh, could capture and, and teach others. <laughs> we can learn a lot from him. So, how was your cricket personally today? Personally, I, um, I I enjoyed it. I bowled a few overs, which I'm a little bit stiff. A couple of wickets, uh, but yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't really call myself a cricketer, but I you know I, I like to take part. But I enjoyed it. Who inspired you to play cricket? Um, I'm a hockey player actually, so I think as when my knees went, I thought I'd, live, I'd play a bit of cricket instead. Um, but my my favourite sort of cricketer, Graham Thorpe was always my favourite cricketer as a as youngster. I think uh, very small hands apparently. Oh, interesting. You know, a man with small hands, we know what, know what they've got. Small gloves. Yeah, and small feet. But um, so he's the one for me because he's uh, got a lot of spirit, a lot of strength. He's the yeah, Graham Thorpe's my man. Marvellous. Thanks, Simon. Thank you. Congratulations, well done. And John Price will be handing the prizes to the next England and Middlesex fast bowler and legend. Well